Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. I'm here again with the 2014 SEMA Buffing Championship Master Francisco Mendoza. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually use that product that was in the SEMA show. It's the 501 and 502 rubbing compound today. We're going to be using it with a dual action polisher and we're going to rinse this off with waterless wash. And waterless wash is a product that you can take on this dirty type of vehicle and encapsulate and remove without scratching the surface. There's already a ton of scratches here, so we're not too worried about it, but as of any paint, we want to do less work, not more work, and because there's only so many coats. We're going to take with a dual action polisher, the L35 polisher from uh, 3D, it's the HD polisher, and a clay pad that we also have. It's the HD high definition clay pad. It's a nano skin pad that's going to be able to remove all the oxidation and the industrial fallout. And we're going to turn to level two. We're going to go back and forth nice and easy and remove all the contaminants that's in the paint before we get into compound process. This is a process, especially on a car like this, that obviously hasn't been taken care of. We want to take and remove all of the contamination that we can out of the paint so that we're ready. You can see there's a lot of uh, fallout here. Nice, that's a rusty finish to it. Yes. Nasty. I don't think this car's ever been washed or polished. What do you think? I don't think so. Not until we did it. Look at that. Ooh. That orange tinge to that. That's all rust uh, caused from industrial fallout that sits into the paint. It's already brought up a different shade of color here. And you look at the two sides here, besides it being dirty. Now we're going to take the brand new spider pad that we have. This is the K56S. DP, it's the Spider Dark Purple Cutting Pad from 3D. It's the high definition line, and we're going to use AAT 501 rubbing compound. Some people think that this is just a body shop item, and it is not. This is a fantastic detailing item. It was made to bring detailing, the high end detailing uh, specialty, to the body shop industry. So you're getting something that detailers can enjoy and the body shops can use the speed with as well. You're using the speed and the precision that you would like to have in your, in your compound and polish. We don't want to do this all day. We want to get done as quickly as possible. Now the idea that you're doing with a dual action polisher is you're not doing the work. You're letting the machine do the work. And you're letting the machine with the combination of the compound to remove all the scratches and the oxidation that's in there. The L35 is an eight millimeter throw. The, the cutting pad is a little bit stiffer pad so you have a little bit more force onto the surface. With the compound, it being a non-diminishing abrasive, as long as it has some wet feel to it, it's going to continue to cut. I mean, look, it's already bringing a shine to it. I was removing a lot of these deep scratches fairly easily with the 501, AAT 501 rubbing compound and with the combination of the L35 and the dark spider purple pad. Looks like you basically got, what, 95, 100% of, uh, at least 95% of them scratches out of there. See, trunks are always abused because you get everybody puts their grocery bags and their boxes and stuff on these cars and especially having all this dirt on there and then doing it. Yeah, I think you, there's a couple scratches in there you're most likely not going to be able to get out. Now we're going to take and get a quick shine. If you notice, that 501 self-cleans its it's self-cleaning pretty much. You don't see residue, not a whole lot of mess or anything. You don't even have to worry about it getting on the plastics and really ruining the plastics either. It's, pretty, it's all water soluble, there's no petroleum in it, so it's not going to cause any of the, the plastics to die back or, or stay white. Very easy cleanup. So we've got very light residue. We're going to take 502 with the spider pad. This is the K56 SBK. Stands for spider black. Is the finishing pad. It's extremely soft. Can I show us how soft that sucker is? Look at that. It's extremely soft. Gives us a nice high finish. Now the idea behind the spider, if you haven't seen our previous videos, is that it opens up and allows for a bit more cutting power and allows the pad to still finish as nicely as, it, as this pad can. This foam is extremely dense yet soft and pliable so that we can get that really nice high finish. Now it'll just take us a couple passes here with the polish and we'll bring out a real high shine. A couple quick passes. 
And make sure you always start and stop the machine on the surface so that the, when it's spinning, it doesn't go slinging off because it has that dual action process or, or throw in there. What that means is it's, the pad is spinning and then there's a counterweight in there that's going like this, so it's spinning in this motion. So if we turn it on and off, when it's open and your Velcro has gotten worn down over the time, it's gonna throw it. Wow, it looks pretty easy. How was that cleanup? Pretty easy. All right, let's take a look at our work here. Now, even on a light colored car, you can see the difference. It's one hell of a contrast. Now, just to give you an idea that it's not the dirt contrast, we're gonna take and do waterless over here and remove this dirt just to show you that there's a big difference in just the quality finish of this, this paint. And Francisco, go ahead and do that for us. So even though now the dirt's all cleaned off, you can see a big difference. This is, this is paint, there's no dirt on there, okay? It's all done. But look at the difference between the two there, the polish. That's why it's important to get a detail done. That's the biggest difference of just washing your car and taking care of it as opposed to what happens over time. It starts to get pitted, oxidized, and really that dirt acts as sandpaper. So it's extremely important to take care of your car if you really want that high luster shine. Took a little bit uh, of product, a little bit of time. It didn't take a Francisco Mendoza, the 2014 SEMA Buff Off Champion to do this, did it? No. I think anybody can do that for yeah, much. Right? Yeah. Even you can do it. I know I can do it. We well, appreciate it. You stopping by, I'm Donald Williams with Francisco Mendoza and 3D Products. We'll see you next time.